Welcome back to the channel everybody and if you're new welcome I'm Micah also known as the unmatchable one and today we will be discussing if CM Punk will return to WWE or not we've touched on it briefly before but this video is solely based on it especially with the recent teases and rumors we will reveal in this video so please make sure to like the video if you do enjoy it and subscribe of course to support the channel and to see more content and yeah without further ado let's get into the video but first I did want to mention one thing the time I'm recording this, October 8th, 2023, marks a year since Bray Wyatt's amazing return at Extreme Rules. You guys know how much I really like Bray Wyatt if you've been watching me for a while. So you know that's a very significant day, a great memory, 365 days ago. Absolutely great. And here we are, a year later and a lot has happened. I'm not even going to get into it. So without further ado, let's get started. So in 2021, CM Punk returned to wrestling after seven years. Tony Khan brought him back into wrestling after he said he would never wrestle again. Do you think there's ever a chance we'll see you back in a squared circle? No, no. Never? No. Wow. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. Despite him saying that, here we are. He was wrestling and it wouldn't take him long to become the AEW world champion. CM Punk was having pretty good success in there. And of course, his feud with MJF was absolutely golden. Yeah, things looked great at the start, but sadly, it didn't take too long for CM Punk to be involved in some backstage controversy with the Elite and other members of the roster. And due to that and an injury, he would be off TV for about a year. We didn't know if he was going to come back or not. That decision was not up to us, and we didn't really have much insight on it until near the end when they made AEW Collision simply to keep CM Punk away from his enemies and keep CM Punk. So yes, and then here we are, AEW's biggest show of all time, kind of trying to match or be bigger than WrestleMania. Wembley Stadium, we got All In, and what happens at All In? More controversy between Jack Perry and CM Punk this time. But again, CM Punk's name is involved in it, and apparently CM Punk laid his hands on Tony Khan, obviously, who runs AEW. Therefore, that is when Tony Khan had enough and terminated the contract of CM Punk. Maybe he was a bit over-exaggerating it. My life was in danger. But I guess we'll really never know. The point being that CM Punk has been released from AEW, and now I forgot where he does commentary at. I will not lie, I forgot the name. Don't really watch that. But apparently CM Punk teased he has a couple months free. Why is this significant? Because in two months, which a couple refers to obviously, two months away is a pay-per-view Survivor Series, one of the biggest in WWE's history, and CM Punk's hometown, Chicago, is where they are hosting the event. Now you might just be like, they were probably had that planned before CM Punk got released, no big deal, right? And that's fair, that's what I thought at first too. And you know what, although, and CM Punk's the type of guy to play around with like the idea. So I'm like, at least I would think he is. So I was like, there's no way that CM Punk's returning to, to WWE. He just wants people to get thinking like that. He wants to mess with us. That's fine. A lot of people do that sometimes. And so fast forward, right? We're here on this promo with Seth Rollins in the ring talking about Shinsuke Nakamura and the last man standing match. And here's the first hint we got to CM Punk possibly returning from WWE. I am the best in the world, Seth Rollins said flat out. But let's be honest. I don't know why people straight up just believed that that meant a CM Punk hit. Like so many people have called themselves the best in the world in WWE since CM Punk's departure from WWE in 2014. Like Shane McMahon's whole gimmick was the best in the world with that big trophy he won in Saudi. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. The best in the world! I don't know how you could take that as a hint, but that was a hint. At first, I didn't believe it was a hint, but then, fast forward a week or two later, and Seth Rollins or Michael Cole, I forgot who, mentions or references a CM Punk promo from back way when. 
So that's when my suspicion really grew. Then, what happens next? On SmackDown, when they're talking about the Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura match, randomly out of the blue, Corey Graves quotes CM Punk's very back in the day iconic promo where he says, the best thing the devil ever did was make you forget that he existed. Out of the blue, randomly quotes that. And I gotta say, that's when they had me sold that CM Punk was actually returning. And I have not thought otherwise since. Despite Corey Graves denying it, I don't think, I think it has to be. There's no way that two times before that, clear references to CM Punk, at least the second one, and then this third one, no way, no way. I don't believe at all that Corey Graves Gen Corey Grace is just trying to get our minds off of that and make us think we're stupid. That's what I think is happening. And maybe we are stupid. Who knows? But I I'll be I'll be stupid if that's the case. CM Punk's returning, I don't care. Even the recent rumor that CM Punk and WWE are like working out how to return right now. That's a big rumor. And one of CM Punk's closer friends, I forgot who, said that he has an intention to come back and return to pro wrestling. Which means he's clearly not done with it, because although Tony Khan brought him back to the business, now that he's been in it, he doesn't want to leave us again, and he's been passionate about the actual wrestling perspective. So yeah, CM Punk's return to WWE, in my opinion, bound to happen. CM Punk could be returning at Crown Jewel, possibly Survivor Series. It's either going to be returns at Crown Jewel, has his first match at Survivor Series, or returns at Survivor Series. And it's weird to be talking about a big return that could be happening when a year a year ago today, we got one with Bray Wyatt. So yeah, it's a convenient day to do this video. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. And of course, if you came to this video, you probably want my opinion. You probably want me to address the situations, the media scrums, the backstage drama with AEW and CM Punk. Here's my take on it. We don't know. For sure, we do not know what happened backstage. Only people in that locker room did, and we're getting mixed messages from all these different sources and sites. So what I'm gonna say is, let him return to WWE, which is most likely the case. Let it play out. Are we gonna have problems there? If we do, then I think we can have more of an idea of maybe Punk is a big problem. If it doesn't happen, then maybe that says a lot about AEW's locker room and how they treated Punk. We do not know the situation, so therefore, let's just let it play out, go for the ride, and enjoy it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did enjoy. This was a pretty quick and brief video just to discuss CM Punk possibly returning. Had a little bit of time today, thought it was a hot topic, might as well. We are going to see more teases in the future, but did want to get it out now. That's it for me, I'm out.